I'm Jen Tinline from stampwithjen.com. Today I'm going to do a fun kids project and I've got my helper here with me today, my son Duncan. You ready to make some crafts, Duncan? Yeah. Okay. So today we're going to make these adorable little gumball treats. These are the supplies you need for today's project. Some glittery paper, some white cardstock, some black cardstock, uh, I've got an ink here, some red pipe cleaners, some fun googly eyes, something to poke holes with, a gel pen, some glue to put it together, some scissors, a bunch of different punches. I've got some cord here, but you can use string or whatever. Cute little cello bags from Stampin' Up! And some sort of a stamp set. I'm going to use this one called Bugs and Kisses. And of course, the most important part, the gumballs. All right, Duncan, first step. Got clean hands? Yep. All right, so take one of these little cello bags, and we're going to each put four gumballs in here. And you can do whatever colors you want. And then we're just going to take a pair of our craft and rubber scissors and just going to trim off the top here. You going to do that too? Next step we're going to do is we're going to cut these pipe cleaners in half. And Duncan, you can start taking them and wrapping them around just like we practiced before around your body, just like this. Okay, so once you've got them started to, to twist, and you're just going to finish twisting them so they're nice and tight. And then you can get your legs all going the same way. And Duncan, come on over here and show everybody what you're doing already. He's already on to the next step. So he's uh, just trimming the legs up to make them more bug size. And then he's going to trim them in and, or, and fold the little folds over to make it look like a little bug feet. Look at that. Can you see that? Just show the camera like that what you're doing. Little right angles. This is a piece of Stampin' Up's glitter paper. It comes in a great big sheet like this. Love this glitter paper. And I'm going to just take my little bitty shape here and punch out a little couple of flowers while Duncan's punching out our other pieces. And then to get the heart shape for the nose on here, so I'm just taking my scissors and I'm trimming off the two little petals on either side here to form that heart shape. So you can see there the difference of the original one and then the one that I turned into a heart. Okay, so Duncan's got all this stuff ready for us and so now I'm just going to take my mono glue and I'm just going to give us a few little dots here for our faces. So we're going to put those on. So you go ahead, Duncan, and do yours. I don't know if you can see what we're doing there on the camera. And a little piece for his nose. Okay, and let's put some more glue on there to get those eyeballs on. These are just little googly eyes that you could get from a craft store. I'll get him. Now you can just draw the little mouth on there, too. And just, just watch the eyes so they don't move around on you because they're still wet. Very cute. Okay, so we've got our faces done. Now we're just going to take about a third of this pipe cleaner this time. And Duncan, do you want to bend those into the antlers? Or antennae, I guess they're called. And while he's doing that, I'm just going to take my stamp pad and I'm going to stamp my saying here in the pink color. So I'll do one for me and one for Duncan. Okay, and then I'm going to take my oval punch, and I just use a punch upside down so I can see that I've got it all in there. And I'm going to punch that out. Okay, so I've got these both stamped, and I'm just going to poke a little hole into the tag so that I can put a little bit of cord through here to tie back onto the. Just a little bit cut like that. Duncan's got some antennae ready for us to go. Now the other piece of equipment that you can use here is a hot glue gun. Okay, so I've got my hot glue gun here. I'm just going to squeeze out a bit of glue and stick the antenna on there. And then I'm going to put just another little bit of hot glue on the end of the bug. And we've got our um, faces put on here now. And the last step we're going to do is just take this little tag that we made. And we're going to just tie it around the back. You want to do that, Duncan? Of your bug. And then you can put your little message on the back of the tag. To your Valentine's. What's your favorite part about Valentine's Day, Duncan? Um, I don't know. I think getting the candy. <laughs> of course. That's what it's all about. I like being able to, the chance to be able to tell people how, how much you like or love them. Me too. You too? 
give them bugs and kisses. I think these will be a big hit with your friends. Yeah. Okay. So that's all we have for you today. Wasn't that a cute and fun and easy project, making our little love bugs? Thank you so much, Duncan, for being here to help me do that. You're welcome. And if you would like to see more project ideas, check back to stampwithjen.com often. Thanks so much.